uh, Trevor Hunt from Fort Rupert. Uh, probably the name of Sally's. Um, this is a 36 inch Raven panel that's uh, being sandblasted. So about seven years ago, seven and a half years ago, when I started doing the sandblasting, this was one of the first pieces that I ever did, like a rendition of this one. So I decided that for the show, um, I should do another piece for that to play homage to the first piece that I ever did out of the sandblasting. Um, so what we have is a, a raven in a really free flowing design. So you have its the beak up here, his wings going down, chest, uh, his legs and his claws. I always try to make the claws like nice and big, like his feet, so he can grab a lot of sockeye or whatever he's going in to eat. Uh, he's got his ears, which also is designed with a feather. Basically, it has a lot of different intricate moving parts in it, which is like the flow of the design. Um, so each of the feather designs are completely different into its own. Same with the feathers that are up on top of the mask. Um, inside, you have its tongue, but you also have like water movements or like, say he was going to hunt a sockeye or something live in a little bit so you have uh, different elements in there instead of just being a tongue i like to throw in a whole bunch of different details uh, the copper and abalone in the eye if a raven was dancing in the big house his beak would be up this way and he'd be holding the bottom jaw and as you're dancing he'd be clapping the jaw so your jaw would actually be facing this way so even when i make a raven mask i like to try to put a different uh, creatures on the bottom, so this one has a, a raven mask on the on the bottom of the raven. So if he was dancing, the raven would be seen where he's going, just to give movement, give extra flair to the piece. Sometimes they're bears. Sometimes you put another raven underneath it to become like a family of ravens. The colors I try to do a definite my own style of colors in the pieces when I do the sandblasting. Uh, more vibrant, the better. I think that it really like uh, makes the piece stand out a lot more when you like between the cedar and then you have all the different colors that are mixed inside. Uh, the colors when I put them inside is uh, like a watered down mixture and it ends up being like a milky base. So it's able to flow in between all the lines that come out of the pieces. Like, and even when I make my panels, I do the panels from start to finish myself from the laminating to the sanding around and everything, um, which is pretty unique as well. I also do the sandblasting myself. Um, that's a total technique that I learned from two different sandblasters how to do that, one in Victoria, one in Canberra River, um, John Livingston, who recently passed away, but he's the one who showed me how to do the rubber, how to make your design flow more, and how to be more uh, open with your designs as it came to sandblasting compared to carving. Because if, say, you're carving this free-flowing design on here, you're going to carve that. There's so many different angles you're going to bring in your knife, which is fine. Um, but you have a lot more play in the sandblasting is what I liked with it. Um, it suits my style pretty good. For the designing and really enjoy the finished product and the sandblasting.